The banana jean is one of my favorite morphs out there. It's one of the jeans I work with. Let's talk about the ones I got, what my plans are for this year. What's up YouTube, it's Baker. Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, give me a thumbs up. We're a new ball python breeding channel. I say it every time, I'm gonna continue to say it. I promise I'm gonna stop soon. Hit me up on Instagram, blue underscore line, underscore morphs, and my Facebook page, Blue Line Morphs. Um, the Instagram channel is kind of my personal page. Now listen, cut right to it. Let's get right to the video. A lot of people say I talk too much. That's, that's what this channel is. So if you don't like it, you know, there's a button at the top. It's an action. Hit that button, you move on. All right, so no real update. Normally I like to give you guys a quick update. I got nothing really going on the last few days. Did a double Monday to Tuesday. Today's Tuesday night at, I don't know. 11:40 at night, got done over and made a couple, you know, made 150 bucks extra, no big deal. Um, we're gonna keep it moving. So as I was driving around today, I started thinking about some some videos I could start making, some ideas for videos, and then I came up with this idea because I like to show my snakes off a lot, right? That's the whole point of this channel. Everyone likes to show off snakes. Everyone likes to show off their projects. Now I did a video about what genes I work with and why I work with them, right? The banana. Banana slash Coral Glow, Pied, the Clowns, and now I'm also getting into the Puzzle Gene. I explained how I got into them, why I got into them, especially the Banana and the Coral Glow is kind of a mistake. So I figured, let's, why not take it like a step further, show off each individual project and what my plan is for this 2021 season, maybe talk a little bit about what I'm going to do later on down the road, what I'm going to try to introduce to these projects. Uh, got my cheat sheet as usual, guys. I'm shot. I apologize. Uh, if you don't remember how I got into uh, banana gene, this is what we're talking about today, the banana gene, maybe on Saturday I do clown, maybe on Monday I do pies. But if you don't remember, the reason why I got into banana was kind of a mistake, right? Um, I walked into that first expo at White Plains, I made a left, I saw nice balls, nice balls, I saw nice balls, I saw the company nice balls booth, they had a banana male sitting there, banana head pied, I was like, oh cool, yellow, and I bought it and that was it, and then it just kind of snowballed from there the banana pied male the coral black and Star mojave male the other banana girl we just got and then that freak girl we got to kind of figure out still right so it all was kind of a mistake with the coral glow banana gene but it worked out really well for me um so let's get right into it i'm just going to show off my snakes guys and tell you what my plan is for this year so let's start off with this boy right here this is my banana pied male um he's the male from oh you guys are wondering where that first Coral Glow uh, pet pie mail went. Went over to Saul's Balls. Where is he at? He's up over here. Can you see him? It's blacked out. Sorry, Saul. Take out Saul's Balls, Instagram, and his YouTube channel. And so he's got him. He has, he's sired. I don't know how many uh, Coral Glow Black Pastel combos for him. And he's actually a female maker. So whatever, Sal. So. Saul, so, sorry. Anyway, so I got a guy on my team the same name. So this is my. One of the first bananas I got, this is obviously a banana pie, guys, okay? This is the male that was responsible for my first two clutches this year, the first one I killed, and obviously the second one with Big Mama. Um, realistically, guys, I was going to get rid of him. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I did a whole video talking about how you want to upgrade your collection as you go along, and obviously I bought that, that Aussie boy with all the, those jeans on top of the pie. So I was like, you know what, maybe I'll, I'll let him go. I'll let him go to another breeder, uh, maybe another newer breeder, even newer than I am to possibly, look how gorgeous he is, right? To possibly help their pie uh, project go up. Then two things popped in my head. First and foremost, I don't know if that boy's gonna be ready, the Aussie boy. But secondly, I really like him, guys, right? He's like a 50-50 mix, right? It's like up here is just straight banana, down here is straight pie. I really, really like that about him. Uh, he's sweet as can be, super, you know, he's not really head shy, so I really like him. So realistically, I really don't have too many plans for him as long as that Aussie boy comes through. I might make some heads, like pick up a couple good girls, maybe a clown girl, maybe, who knows. But realistically, if I have that Aussie boy back there and all those jeans on it, he's kind of obsolete for me. But with that being said, I'm not going to get rid of him. I really like him as a pet. I think he's a gorgeous snake. What do you guys think? He's a really good example of it. He's nice and bright. Not a lot of freckles, but he looks great. So this is one of the first bananas that I got, banana pied male. He's really kind of useless in my breeding projects, but he's not going anywhere. I like him. All right. Let's get into one of the second banana combos that I got. It's this female. Now, this female here I got on actually a Craigslist deal um, along with Luna, my white diamond. 
Now, this girl, as for, so the guy that I got him from was actually moving to Florida, and he didn't want to bring all the snakes with him. All right, take a look real quick, guys. What genes, comment down below, what genes do you think are in here? What morphs are in here? I'm going to tell you what this guy told me. So, I, I kind of caution against Craigslist. But at the same time, I've got a lot of really good deals off Craigslist. I got her and the White Diamond Luna for only 600 bucks. So, he bought this for his son to get into breeding from an expo. And all he can remember was a banana, butter, pastel, uh, enchi. And he thought it was either cinnamon or maybe fire in here. He wasn't entirely sure. He paid about 1300 bucks for her at the time. This is two years ago, two and a half years ago. What do you guys see in here? If you're not sure, definitely check out my Instagram channel. I have pictures of her as like when she was much younger. Right now she's sitting at... 1730 grams she's about two and a half three years old so i'm definitely breeding her this year and to be completely and totally honest with you guys i'm not sure what i want to do now i have that stud male inside the coral glow which you're going to meet in a second and i wanted to pair him with her but i'm thinking to myself there might just be too many genes in here right we've been over this a million times so i'm not entirely sure what i want to do comment down below what do you guys think i should do should i pair it with that that stud you're going to see in a second or should I maybe pair her with like a one gene uh, snake? Maybe that banana pie I just showed you. That way if a couple of banana pastels pop out or maybe a super banana or maybe enchi or maybe cinnamon, who knows? Maybe I could try to prove out some of these genes in here by maybe using a male with less genes than him. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Take a look at her. What do you guys think she is? So I don't know. All right. Let's segue right into this boy. Not like you shed, guys. Right? Perfect. So this is my one of my studs. He's a gorgeous snake. I never hesitate from showing him off. I'm mean, follow my channel. You've seen him a million times. This is my Coral Glow Black Pastel Trick Mojave male. Let's see what he's doing in that. He he should be he should be over a thousand grams now. He's about eleven hundred grams. He's about a year year old, year 14, 15 months old. Got him from Richie Booth Reptiles here in Long Island. Check him out. He's awesome. Look how gorgeous this snake is, guys. All right. This is probably one of my favorite snakes that I have. He's simply stunning. Okay. Even at 1,100 grams, he's got that purple. He's got all this broken up in here with the Mojave and the trick. It's just absolutely phenomenal. So I got big plans for him. So this is the male I was talking about with the other female. Should I pair them together or there's just way too many genes in the mix there? I don't know what I want to do, but let me show you what my plans are for this guy this year. Take another look at him real quick before I put him away, guys. All right, stunning snake. Ah, stunning, stunning snake, absolutely stunning. So bare minimum, bare minimum, this is where he's looking to go. I'm looking to pair him with this girl right here. This is the Orange Glow uh, Fire Girl, a little bit of stuck shed. She uh, doesn't even fit on my scale, but last time I weighed her, she's about 2,600 grams. So that Coral Glow Black Pastel Trick Mojave Male is absolutely going to this girl. She's gorgeous, right? I really like how Orange Glow and Fire, uh, how they look, especially when the snake gets old. Like really nice washed out blushing look, but really gorgeous snake, big girl, right? So he's definitely going to her. He's definitely going to be going to Big Mama. All right, once Big Mama puts more size on, um, right now she's only about 3,500 grams when she was about just under 4,000 grams when I last uh, bred her. He's also going to go to this girl right here. Nothing crazy. Just a big old female normal. All right, this is the one I got from Sal. All right, you guys saw her before. She's about 2,700 grams right now. So he's going to be going over to this girl also. And then the other question is this. This girl might be ready. But I, I, I don't know. I might give her the season off. She's only about a year and a half old, maybe two years old. She's sitting at about 1,100, 1,200 grams. I don't think I'm going to breed her. But definitely in the future, this is my lesser pastel female. 100% head pie, but I'm never going to go for the pie gene with her. Um, I really want to put him her together with that, that male I just showed you. Maybe in the future, though, just to maybe hit a couple bells, just to add lesser in there. We'll see what happens. But other than that, those are the three girls I'm primarily looking forward to breeding him with. Uh, once Big Mama's up to the size, and once she's back to that 4,000 gram mark, I'll show her off. What the hell? I love Big Mama. Everyone gets a kick out of her. Oh, she shed. Another shed. How long do you guys think this shed is? 
This might be a good one. Let's see. Well, if I'm 6'1", I would say she's about five, five and a half feet. That's not bad, right? Five, five and a half feet. Let's see what she's weighing in at today, though. So, so far, she's definitely going to those four girls. Let me know what you guys think about that banana girl with all those jeans in it. I don't know if we're going to let her, let them go to that. Let's see what Big Mom is at. I haven't weighed her in a while. Hopefully. All right, 35.50. So, another 400 grams. Hopefully, she's ready another month or so. Put that baby weight back on. Look how gorgeous she is, though. Huh? Fresh out of shed. She's a normal. You know I love my big normal girls. Here she is. All right. So, let's get into the last one. I was going to pair, she's such a pain in the butt to get back into her tub. I was going to pair that Core Glow Black Pastel Trick Mojave Male to Luna right here. This is my, my bell, my Russo and Russo, my Super Russo, if you will, White Diamond. But here's the thing, guys. I was going to do that and maybe try to hit him with Russo on top of it, but I really like Russo Clowns. So I'm thinking maybe holding off getting a Batman then making some hats with her. What do you guys think? Maybe some Russo spot nose leopard het clowns to bring back to some of my clowns. That would be a nice combo. Let me show you my last visual banana girl. You saw her last video uh, about the pickups from Anthony over there at Oak Reptilia. She is the just she's straight banana, but she's 100% het clown, and I believe she's 1,300 grams. Whatever we weighed her in last time, so. She was from Ball Pythons 101. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous snake. Um, she held her color really, really well, guys, for a snake that's, you know, 13, 1400 grams. Uh, a lot of freckling on her. I go back and forth with the freckles. What do you guys think? I like little. I like a lot. Kind of go back and forth. She's got a decent amount. So, obviously, my plan for her is to hit some clowns, uh, but not a clowns, right? Uh, the goal is a Batman clown. A ba Batman clown. A banana Batman, okay? I'm looking forward to hopefully getting a Batman from somewhere. And I'm definitely going to breed that Batman to this girl and the two other girls over there. Hopefully hit some banana Batmans. If not, some banana clowns. I really like the way that looks. But that's in the future down the road a little bit once I get that mail. So that's my breeding plans this year as far as the Coral Glow Black Bass. Uh, as far as the banana gene goes, my projects. Uh, things are subject to change. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on who I'm actually going to start pairing with. My birthday is actually at the end of next week. My birthday is December 30th. I might use that for like the catalyst when I start pairing. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I was going to hold off the Halloween so I got the big pumpkin on my arm. But I think I'm going to start on my birthday. So he's got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of stuff going on. Oh, I forgot. I picked up this girl down here too. She's a big old just pastel female. Obviously, that was from uh, Sal also. I mean, uh, God, I pick up snakes everywhere. From Anthony. So that Core Glow Black Pastel Trick Mojave Male is also going to go to this girl right here, Big Old Pastel. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Maybe add Pastel on top of uh, all the genes that he's got with him. So he, there's definitely four or five females that's ready to go for him. But I'm really interested in what you guys think about that banana, uh, pastel, butter, and she possible fire, possible cinnamon girl that I showed off before. I'll show off one more time for you guys because I really want to figure out what you guys think in her. So here she is. Again, I believe her to be a banana, butter, enchi, pastel, maybe, the guy said maybe cinnamon may, or, or fire. He wasn't sure. He didn't remember. What do you guys think, all right? Um, there's her head. Go real slow for you guys. Definitely check out my Instagram channel, blue underscore line underscore morphs. Um, I have some pictures of her as she aged, and in the very beginning, she almost looked like camo. So there, there, that, you might be able to get a better idea with. But definitely comment down below. Let me know what you guys think she is. Let me know. i kind of leave it up to you guys here on YouTube. Should I pair her with that uh, Core Glow Black and Stout Trick Mojave male? Or maybe should I take a different approach to try to prove out some of the genes inside of her and just hook her up with that banana pied. Worst case, they're all pied. And with a bunch of jeans, oh, head pied with a bunch of jeans on top of it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to continue this series. If you like this series, kind of introducing my collection one gene at a time, what my, my plans are for the future, so forth and so on. Definitely let me know, guys. It's Wednesday. I'm posting this video on Wednesday. Stay tuned for Fridays and Saturdays video. I got pretty good videos uh, planned and ready to go. Hope everybody has a safe rest of their week. Hope everybody's having a good week so far. 
As always, guys, I appreciate it. We're closing on two. As of right now, I'm at 1,999 subscribers, which is insane to me considering I started this channel at the end of last, fe well, end of last February. I really appreciate the support. really appreciate all the love, guys. Let's keep this thing going. I can't wait till some of these venues start opening up, some of these reptile shows start opening up on the East Coast so I can start meeting people actually in person, people I've been corresponding with for so long. I'm um, definitely taking trips out to California to visit Mike and Mike once their shows are opening up, once their shows are happening. So stay tuned for that shit, guys. But as always, let you guys go. Be safe. Please remember, watch your six.